Hello butterflies, hello, hello. Welcome to Monique's Tarot. How are all of you butterflies? I hope all is going so well on your end. To get things started here, let's just burn a bit of Palo Santo. Welcoming in the messages from the spiritual guides. And also clearing out that energy that no longer serves us. As always, Butterflies, thank you all so much for your likes, subscribes, and donations. Those are always greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for connecting with me via MoniquesTarot.com, via the blog, or the podcast. Welcome, welcome, Butterflies. So what's been really unique about the energy this week, as we get closer to the solar eclipse that's happening on October 25th, there's so much good Scorpio emotions energy. And I've actually felt a really healing energy this week. The weather's a little bit warmer for October. It's like people were really happy yesterday. There's like this joyous energy in the air. And if you've been doing your work and if you've been taking the time to really come into yourself and also take peace with yourself, I feel like that's been so rejuvenating. So I hope that you all are experiencing some of that energy butterflies and really bringing in this renewed kind of clarifying joyous energy that the solar eclipse in Scorpio is going to bring next week. And again, I have that video out there. So if you want to enjoy that, feel free and I hope that you do so. Okay, butterflies. With that, let's get into the week ahead energies. Calling in messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Calling in messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Calling in messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Okay. Your butterfly affirmation this week reads, butterflies, I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and in miracles. I'll read that again. I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and in miracles. Am I speaking to some control freaks here? <laughs> Possibly. There's so many shifts and changes that happens and it's only human that we want to control those things. But your spiritual guides, God, your angels, they are around you in this moment. And there's a call here to acknowledge the miracles that they are getting ready to bring into your life. So again, that reads, I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. So prepare for some miracles this week, butterflies. Let's get a wild offering oracle here. Calling in wild offering oracles for the week ahead. Calling in wild offering oracle energies for the week ahead. Okay. So I'm seeing here impatience. <laughs> so control freaks that are impatient, really? <laughs> It seems like, you know, a natural combo there. So it says here, impatience. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. I'm almost getting this energy at like, don't question the process here, butterflies. If something's not quite happening this week, trust in the magic, trust in the miracles. Know that God and your angels see what's happening. But also, make sure that you're doing everything in your power to kind of overturn that leaf. Make sure you're doing everything in your will to actually push forth change. That's just as important as knowing that there are things coming in your favor. 
And let's get one more oracle here before we jump into your base tarot. Calling in messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Okay, and it reads here, gratitude and thanks. There's a beautiful woman here standing with a beautiful, beautiful rosy pink bouquet and also like flowers and field around her. And you can see here that her pet is well fed, well taken care of. She has the transformative butterfly energy all around her. And you can see that she's just at joy and at peace. And she's giving gratitude and thanks for what's in her life currently. And like I said, butterflies, there's such a healing energy. And there's something here about being patient through that, doing as much as you can with where you are. One thing I think about, so I was taking the bus into work the other day and there's this woman who came onto the bus, she said something to the bus driver and she turned around to the entire bus, probably a woman I would guess maybe about late 60s, 70, and she said, hey everybody, how's it going? And we we're all like, oh, hi, hi, you know, like, just very jubilant energy and this woman reminds me of her because this woman on the bus she also brought out these cue cards where she was just kind of flipping through them reminding herself of what she was grateful for in the day and in the moment and it's sometimes the smallest things of just saying hi to folks making people feel seen making people feel less shame that can be so uplifting. So do what you can from where you are is also a message that I'm getting for you all this week, butterflies. Okay. Let's get into your base tarot here, butterflies. Very energizing energy here. Very, very energizing energy for this week ahead. Calling in messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Calling in messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Excuse me, butterflies. I'm just getting some clarifying cards here that I know I want to use. Calling in messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. That gospel song that's like grateful, 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 grateful gratefulness that's actually coming through so some of you may want to listen to that song grateful grateful god is gratefulness yeah there's something about that song that's coming through where there's just like a very gracious energy that's coming in and it just repeats in this chorus grateful 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 and so just a really beautiful energy butterflies All right, before we get into any clarifying energies here, what I'm seeing within your elevation of spirit this week, butterflies, is the Six of Cups reversed. Within your healing, I'm seeing the Three of Wands reversed. Within the, your work and business endeavors, I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles. Within your personal life, I'm seeing the Devil. And then within unexpected surprises this week, I'm seeing the Hierophant butterflies. So right away here, what I'm noticing, many of you are elevating from some past memories. There's something here about the Six of Cups being reversed where it's almost like many of you are trying to escape the past in some ways like you're trying to elevate and escape or maybe even shift away from those past things that had you in your heart or in your mind emotionally with the six of cups here being reversed when the six of cups is upright 
it's more of this energy of you're reminded of things you're thinking about things but there's something here about what happened in possibly your childhood or something that happened within a past relationship that has been on your heart but now you're in a point where you're shifting away from those past memories it's like you're healing and you're shifting from that and so you're elevating by shifting from those things that maybe held you in your head before i am seeing here within your healing the three of wands reversed so there's something here about a path. There's something here about a communication, some type of really passionate, fiery communication that you wanted. And the Three of Wands is really like looking out into the land of where you want to go. But there's something here that still needs to be healed before you can take that path. It's like you're getting away from the things that held you back and held you maybe in a corner or made you feel stifled with the Six of Cups being reversed, but you're also still reflecting on where you could have gone or maybe what you could have shifted into if maybe some of these memories and things weren't there. What I'm also seeing here within your work and business endeavors is the beautiful energy. We all wanna see the King and Queen of Pentacles and this week, Butterflies, you have the Queen of Pentacles within your work and business endeavors. So many of you have been setting really good, solid foundations for yourself, really solid resources, getting some good materials going for your life. I'm seeing here that many of you are really harvesting solid ground here with this Queen of Pentacles. With the devil energy within your personal life, there could be some shifts that need to happen. Now, of course, devil energy is represented by Capricorn energy. So some of you could literally be dealing with a Capricorn. And there's also here, Capricorn is tied to 10. There's a certain independence that Capricorns are known to have. Now, whether you're dealing with directly with a Capricorn or not, there are some possessive tendencies with Capricorn. So some of you could be seeing that there may be some possessive things within relationships or even some controlling things within relationships that are happening this week. And also it's important to note the ambition and motivation of what's happening in the relationships this week because Capricorn is connected to the 10th house, which is all about motivation, material, also a lot of notoriety that's happening. So some of you, um, there could be some, maybe one partner is being um, elevated in community more than the other. And there could even be some slight jealousy that's happening here within this relationship. And also with Capricorn being ruled by Saturn, there's something here about making sure there's a responsibility or like if someone's indebted to someone else. So we'll get some clarifying energy and see what's going on there. Within unexpected surprises, the Hierophant is appearing. So you have a mouse here who has four kind of mini mouses, then they're in a bakery. And many of you have that ability where you can cook up fresh ideas, you have a really incredible perspective, and you may be surprised with how many folks actually come to you this week for your wisdom, for your wise counsel. Know that you have it within you. Some of you probably already know that you have this within you. And the Hierophant is also connected to Taurus energy. So there could be a surprise for maybe a Taurus that's coming in for some of you. Okay, let's get some clarifying energy here, Butterflies. Calling in clarifying messages for the week ahead. Calling in clarifying messages for the week ahead. Yeah, that song, Grateful, it just keeps coming up. Grateful, grateful. Gratitude and thanks. And also that reminder of, I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. When I really look at these two here, these cards are very similar, aren't they, butterflies? It's like you have this butterfly with this purple energy 
Purple always being tied to that third eye, that intuitive inner knowing that many of you are being called into this week. And it's like some of you already know that you don't need to control life. You already know that good things are on your way. But we're gonna we're gonna address this impatience <laughs> uh, because some of you still are a little impatient. So let's get some surrounding energies in here, butterflies, and see why that's happening in this week ahead. Calling and clarifying messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Calling and clarifying messages from the spiritual guides for the week ahead. Okay, so clarifying the Six of Cups here, we have the Chariot. So some of you could be dealing directly, possibly, with a Cancer. I'm also seeing here Hermit Energy. And the Magician reversed. So let's look at this. Outside of dealing directly with a Cancer, like I said, the Six of Cups is giving this energy this week of... There's things that you were thinking about in the past, but many of you are moving forward. You're shifting into a new energy. And that chariot really brings forward this charge forward, take life by the reins type energy. And many of you are definitely stepping into this rush of knowing who you are and not letting so much of the past own your life and kind of rule your life. You have been doing some hermiting and reflecting. You've been taking time for yourself, but now with this chariot energy, you're ready to move forward. I do see here that with the magician being reversed, there could have been some things that were out of your control. Things that other people were maybe using to alchemize or perhaps when it's reversed, it's alchemized in a way that's not fair. So things that were outside of your control that affected these memories in the past that maybe kept you in your head. But now many of you are charging forward. You're moving through and to this new path of your life with new gratitude and thanks. Perhaps you're realizing what you were able to kind of get out of or skip over or think something you were able to avoid <laughs> with the Six of Cups energy. And now you're really charging forward with this chariot energy here. Calling and clarifying messages from the spiritual guides for the Three of Wands and healing. Calling and clarifying messages from the spiritual guides for the Three of Wands and healing. Okay, butterflies, so this reflective energy where there was a path you wanted to take with the Three of Wands, there was a maybe view on your life that you had that didn't quite happen. You had things mapped out in a particular way. Although that didn't happen, and now you're shifting out of that Six of Cups energy um, that had you in your head, the Ten of Cups is appearing within your healing. So now this is showing that the path you're on now, despite what you thought the path you were supposed to be on, you're actually stepping into that abundance this week. It's gonna make itself known for how the steps that you've taken forward are actually carrying you into a space of abundance, a space of joy, a space that really brings that energy of knowing who you are and knowing where you're going. Some of you may have been also over the last 10 months, just thinking about pathing here, over the last 10 months, you've been working on your emotions and you've been working to fill each and every one of these cups. And every month you started to fill another cup. And now your path is showing that you are stepping into the true path that's actually going to benefit you and your family. Yeah, I'm also seeing here temperance, so that Sagittarius energy. Again, many of you each month have been pouring into yourself. You have now stepped and poured each and every one of those cups, that beautiful, gracious energy that's coming through. 
And perhaps even that's why some of you feel a little bit impatient because you're ready for that Ten of Cups moment. Know that magic and miracles are happening here, butterflies. And some of you also could be dealing directly with the Sagittarius with this temperance energy that's also coming through. And I am also seeing here uh, the Knight of Swords. So there could be some communication coming in, either from a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius, someone who's very detailed. It's almost like there's a support here that's happening, like someone that wants to defend you, someone that wants to really speak to you and ground with you. It's like he's ready to fight on your behalf. It's almost like someone is very protective. Now on the flip side of that, there's always a way of being mindful about the Knight of Swords because sometimes he's so swift that he doesn't see the full picture. Know that you have your family on the other side here. You have given in to yourself. So be mindful of the swift energies that come in. But I'm actually getting a very protective energy that's happening here with this Gemini Libra Aquarius. There's something here about uh, a protection. I'm even sen sensing here like a teenager there could be a teenager that is very a, a very fast talker and wants to defend the family or even a, a, a son that has been defending the family and has given you some balance. This is a very specific message, but I am getting this note of there may be someone listening that has a teenage son who has wanted to protect his mother and now the path that you have been taking that where you've been protected by your teenage son is actually helping and supporting you and has allowed you to fill each and every one of your cups and it's like your son is seeing this path and wanting you to get back on your feet this could even be a brother someone around you um, that really sees your energy and wants to protect you and will ward off and kind of say anything to others to make sure you have your happiness. That is a very beautiful energy either way. Very beautiful energy, butterflies. Okay. Calling and clarifying energies for the Queen of Pentacles for the week ahead. I'm just getting this very dancey energy as I'm um, working to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. You can't see me, but I'm just like swaying from left to right. I'm just sensing like some of you are going to be dancing with this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy, like dancing with folks in your community here. There's something here about timing. Be patient. The world is reversed. Be, t be patient. I'm also seeing here that this week, many of you are stepping out of that burdensome energy. You're not taking on so much. It's like, and maybe that's where this room to like dance is coming from. But there's just something here about like you have more room to move and groove and think. And it's like you're in a groove. That's what it is. You're in a groove this week work-wise. And like maybe some things aren't working out timing-wise, but you're still in a groove. Like you're stepping into this need to not control, which is a really beautiful energy. And you might not be celebrated by everybody, but there's no surprise because once you start to step into abundance, there's always, you know, some, them, some side eye a little bit. But I can see that many of you are just in your gratitude. And that doesn't need to be celebrated by everybody. That is something that is very internal. It is your own individual path and many of you have earned it. So continue to be in that energy, butterflies. You have been long awaiting this Queen of Pentacles energy and you've been long awaiting stepping out of some of these burdens. And so just move through some little humps. Be clear as a leader. Be direct. It's actually proving to be good in this case. It's proving to put things on the right path here. You're healing, you're healing, you're getting onto the right path. And so there might be a little friction as you've kind of staked your ground, but in the end, it's actually for your benefit here by following your intuition there. 
Now let's clarify this devil energy here. Again, there's something here with this Capricorn energy. I'm sensing some type of jealousy and also some type of like pull. There's like a pull energy that's coming from this devil. Again, devil represented by Capricorn. And with the 10th house, there's something about ambition. Like there may be one person that's more ambitious than the other. And I'm seeing here, there's a certain, like you're being emotionally drained. Uh, because of this imbalance that's happening. There could be an ending, definitely. There's going to be some communication of an ending that's happening here. And ooh, there's the devil again that's happening. So there's definitely some type of temptation or something that's happening within the personal life. Let me get uh, some more clarifying energy. Because that's super heavy energy. The devil twice, the devil twice the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Let's see what's happening here, butterflies. It's also like real toxic. That's super toxic energy. It's like there's a need of protection that's happening here. Spiritual guides calling in protective energy for personal life for the week ahead for the butterflies listening in. Clearing out all energy that no longer serves. Clearing out clarification on what needs to happen. Calling in protective energy for personal life. Okay. Let's burn a bit of Palo Santo here, butterflies. Okay. Spiritual guides, can we clarify personal life here? Spiritual guides, can we clarify personal life here? It's almost like two individuals that are chained by toxicity. Two individuals that are chained by toxicity. And no one's being served. There's betrayal. There's a lot of things happening behind the scenes. But what's coming out is there's work, 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 work that needs to be done here. I'm seeing the three of pentacles. So there's a call here to do some work within communication. There's a call here to do some work within how you're imagining your future. And there's also the eight of pentacles. Like some of you need to almost pair up with others whether you're in shared coupled space or even if you're by yourself, there's some work that needs to be done within the family uh, is what I'm getting. If this is not a shared coupled space, this is in the family. And there are some toxic traits that are happening that are still either within you or within others in your family. I'm seeing that some of you will need to make a choice for your health for your mental health is actually what's coming out here with the two of pentacles. Like a lot of you, there's a mental health issue that's happening in the family or within your personal life where someone's maybe unstable. Perhaps there's someone who needs um, emotional support or they've been off their therapy and now there's been a lot of toxicity. Spiritual guys, clarifying energy for personal life. For the week ahead. Okay, this is definitely dealing with family, possibly for some of you a family member of the past with the Ten of Pentacles being reversed. I am seeing the Eight of Cups. This is for some of you someone that you already walked away from. So it might be important to really be protective of your energy uh, for those of you that maybe were previously married or engaged or perhaps you have like children with them. But there's something here about it's a bad investment. It's a very bad investment. And I can see why the spiritual guides are saying that because it's such toxic energy. Protect your peace is what I'm hearing. And remember, you don't need to control life, butterflies. Trust in magic and miracles. But personal life, it's almost like the guides are saying, watch yourself. Watch yourself this week. 
And you know, butterflies, whenever we see tough messages, I always say it's just to know. It's to know and it's to keep our eyes open. So keep your eyes open this week, butterflies, in your personal life. There's some healing that needs to happen and it looks like it's coming from the past. And there's something here about it. Just it's not worth your time with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. It's not worth your time. Calling and clarifying energies for unexpected surprises for the week ahead. Calling and clarifying energies for unexpected surprises for the week ahead. Now, supporting this Hierophant, there's a lot of wisdom you all have. There also could be an unexpected view from a Taurus or conversation with a Taurus that's happening, but there's some trickery around this conversation involving this Taurus. Like, there's something here about it not being as pure as it should be, or someone is using their wisdom to kind of um, switch up things. There's like some unexpected thing of trickery that's happening here. Now, the so solar eclipse is in Scorpio, and with a solar eclipse, it really magnifies things, and sometimes things can go a little bit haywire, and un under the surface emotions that come from Scorpio being ruled by Pluto can come up. Pluto is about extreme power, a lot of being reborn, rebirthed. And so we're still in that energy of there's going to be rebirth that's happening. So there might be some tense moments that happen this week, butterflies. But remember that with this trickery, there's also Libra energy. And the Six of Cups is also supported in unexpected surprises here by the Six of Cups within your elevation of spirit. So know that justice is coming despite what someone may be using here with their least judgment, I'll say that, <laughs> of using trickery against someone who's very wise, who's very looked up to. Know that justice is coming in, but you have already come out of this energy that was previously limiting you. So remember, butterflies, to mind your patience this week. Mind your patience this week. Remember your life is unfolding in divine timing and all delays are beneficial. You're always at the right place at the right time. Keep that energy of gratitude and thanks butterflies that is serving you all so well. Your spiritual guides see the work that you've been putting in. And remember that you don't need to control life. Trust in magic and trust in those miracles. Okay, let's just close things out here with a unicorn oracle. closing things out with the unicorn oracle and we have two here it says support it says ask for help get more rest and nurture yourself and then also the guides are calling you into imagination it says envision a new reality yes going into a new path give yourself permission to dream and believe in unlimited possibilities with that butterflies i am sending you so much healing energy just burning a bit of Palo Santo here as you go on your way. As always, thank you all so, so much, Butterflies, for your likes, shares, subscribes, and donations. I hope this message resonated with you. And if it does, leave me a like or a chat below. Until next time, Butterflies, speak soon. Bye.